Lorenzo and the Calliope It was a very busy day on Sodor, and an unexpected visitor was just arriving at Brendam Docks. Well, here we are, you two! We are now on the island of Sodor! Hooray! Okay, now I just need to figure out how to unload you two. This looks harder than I thought. Well, how did you load Thomas's construction friends then? Well, I loaded them a bit differently than you two. Hey, maybe you could ask that green crane for help. Good idea, Lorenzo. Excuse me. Mr. Green Crane, can you help me out here? I have something that needs unloading. Well, don't worry, Mr. Italian Boat with Crane. I'll help you. Grazie. That means thank you. Well, no problem. Grazie. Grazie. Thanks. Thanks. No problem, you two. Ciao, Lorenzo. Ciao, Pepe. Ciao, Stefano. See you later. So, how are we going to find our way around this place? Hey, that sounds like Thomas. Well, if you didn't know, it is Thomas. Well, how should you know? You're just a coach. Because one, I am facing backwards, and two, he's right behind me. Yes. Ciao, Lorenzo. Oh. <laughs> I told you. So, what are you two doing here on Sodor? We came to see what it was like over here. And from what we can see so far, it is very busy around here. You got that right. Just then, Sir Topham had arrived. Ah, you must be some of Thomas's Italian friends. We, we sure are. are. And we sing Italian all day long. I see. Anyway, I came here to tell Thomas that the famous opera singer, Alicia Botte, is going to perform at the town hall later tonight. Thomas, I want you to pick her up at Knapford Station. Yes, sir. And, um, what is your name? Oh, I'm Lorenzo. And I'm Pepe. Well then, Lorenzo and Beppe, I want you to pick up the Calliope from Napford and take it to the town hall too. Okay, sir. Hey, Thomas, do you think you could help us get to Napford Station? Sure thing, Lorenzo. Follow me. So Lorenzo and Beppe followed Thomas to Napford Station. Soon, the two engines and Beppe arrived at Napford Station. Wow! This is the biggest station I've ever seen! No, anyway, where's this calliope? Oh, it's right over there. Wow! It looks like a bunch of long funnels. So what does it do? It plays music. That's awesome! But if it plays music, why is it not playing music now? You have to make it play music. Oh, okay. So how do you make it play music? Oh, that's easy. You just... Hello there. Oh, hello, Alicia Botti. Hello, Thomas. And you must be Lorenzo and Beppe, the legendary Lost Engine and Coach. How did you know? Well, I used to live in Italy, and I heard many stories about you two. But I thought I would never see it in person. Well, you have now. And it is a pleasure to meet both of you. Anyway, are you ready to take me to the town hall? <laughs> Ashes! I don't have any in Clarabel with me. That's okay. You can use Pepe. I'm sure he would love to have a famous singer travel with him. Are you sure? You do remember the last time you ditched me, right? And I know you had no idea where you were! 
Of course, I'm sure. Don't worry, I'll catch up. Okay, if you say so. So Lorenzo uncoupled from Pepe and gave him to Thomas. <laughs> And as Thomas puffed away with Pepe, Lorenzo raced over to the Calliope. <laughs> la la la! As Lorenzo puffed along, he tried to figure out how to make the Calliope play. Hmm, if only I knew how to make the Calliope play. Then I would be able to show everyone how amazing the Calliope is, and how good I am at singing along. Oh, it's so boring around here. There's nothing to do. It's the same thing every day. Huh? huh? What's that sound? Did uh, somebody say their day was boring? It's Lorenzo the Musical Engine. He has come to save the day. Oh, la, 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 la. Bravo! Bravo! Encore! Encore! Grazie! Grazie! You are too kind! Oh, I really want to make the Calliope play beautiful music for everyone to hear. Oh! I know what will make the Calliope play. I just need to sing to it. And then it will play some music. <laughs> Warming up, 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 up. La, 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 la. Ha, 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 ha. La, 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 la. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, so I guess singing didn't work. So there must be another way to make the Calliope play. But what other things make music? Hmm. Of course! The Calliope must be a musical instrument. So there must be some piano keys or mouthpiece somewhere on the Calliope. So Lorenzo went into a siding so his driver and fireman could look at the Calliope. I don't see anything here. I don't see anything either. I'm sorry, Lorenzo, but we couldn't find any keys or little holes to blow into or play on. I found something! You did? It's a little hole at the back of the calliope. Wow, blow into it. So Lorenzo's driver took a deep breath, and he blew into the hole as hard as he could. we now know how to make it play but that is not the right thing to play it with so we need some type of air to go into that hole to make it play properly but what type of air could it be hmm. Hmm. That's it! Driver! Connect the pipe from my piston cylinder to the calliope! I now know what will make it play! Uh, right. So Lorenzo's driver connected a pipe to his piston cylinder. And he connected the other end to the hole in the calliope. Then Lorenzo built up as much steam as he could. And he shot it from his piston through the pipe and into the calliope. At first, it caught. Then it spluttered. Then it began to play. It's so beautiful! If only Pepe was with me at this moment, then he could sing along with me. La 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 la. Okay, la la 
himself. Let's get going to the town hall. Thomas and Pepe will be waiting for us both with Alicia Porte. Toot! Toot! I almost forgot about that. Let's get going, driver. And on the way, everyone will hear the beautiful calliope music and me singing along. So Lorenzo raced as fast as he could. His pistons pumped and steam shooted into the calliope and the calliope began to play. Away to the town hall, the calliope. La 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 Lorenzo passed some stations along the way. The people clapped and cheered for him and his beautiful singing. And soon Lorenzo was getting closer to the town hall. I'm gonna make it on top. Meanwhile, Thomas, Pepe, and Alicia Party were waiting at the town hall for Lorenzo. Where is he? He should have been here by now. Unless he got lost. I knew I should have stayed with him. Well, to be honest, you would have gone lost too due to the fact that this is your first time on Sodor. Okay, you're right. But we should go looking for him. Okay, Pepe. But can you be quiet for just a sec? I hear something. I do too! And it sounds like music! But not only that, but I also hear singing! And it sounds like Lorenzo! He sounds very close! We should help him, just in case he goes the wrong way at last second! Well then, let's back down the line! Backing up, a backing up! We are a backing up! Oh my! How far is the town hall? Seems like it's taking forever getting there! Just then, Lorenzo saw a mysterious red light ahead of him. Um, hello? Who's there? La la la! La! Not again, Thomas! Pepe? Is that you? Yep, you came for me. You must have heard my singing, as well as the calliope playing music. We sure did. That's good to hear. Now let's show you the way to the town hall. And on the way, <clears throat> we can sing! I'll say it for you, Thomas. We can sing! On the way there! Okay then, let's get going! So Thomas, Lorenzo, and Beppe raced to the town hall as fast as their wheels could carry them. And soon they arrived at the town hall, just in time for the show to start. Before I start my performance, I would like to thank Lorenzo and Pepe, the legendary Lost Engine and Coach of Italy, for bringing both me and the Calliope to the town hall. Okay, Lorenzo, when you're ready. Okay, Alicia, buddy. Lorenzo pushed steam into the Calliope. The Calliope played. And Alicia Bucky sang. Oh, I'm sure you like it when a story has a happy ending. I do too, Lorenzo. Oh, I love a happy ending. A happy ending. A happy ending. Oh, don't you love a happy ending? I sure do. Oh, we love a happy ending. We sure do. After the end. Ah! Whoops. Not again, Thomas.